and we're continuing down the list here. We have a Scrabbling Claws. Target player exiles a card from their graveyard. Okay, so you can choose any card. That's weird. Why would you... Sacrifice Scrabbling Claws. Exile target card from a graveyard. Draw a card. So it's... If you want to have... I don't know. Graveyard hate, but at the same time you might regret having graveyard hate and wanting to draw a card. Uh, this is weird. I don't know. I don't know why why we would use this. Uh, moving on. Shark to grab. Uh, it's a 4-4 for four, four, two colorless. One green, one blue. Whenever one or more plus one plants, one counters are put on shark to grab. Tap target creature and opponent controls. Tap creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. So you sleep something when it gets counters. You can only adapt for one, so it becomes a 5-5 five, five for 8 mana. That's bad. <laughs> Couldn't at least have adapt 2 or 3 or 4? Like, would it have mattered? I don't know. Why would you... It's, there are ways of putting counters, of course, on this, uh, to sheet counters on this, but I don't see it being worth it. it like a, a single sleep? Couldn't you, I don't know, three turn sleep or something? <laughs> well, moving on. Mirror match. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, flip a coin until you lose a flip. For each flip you won, Create a token that's a copy of that creature. Those tokens gain haste. Exile them at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, so I need to have 6 mana. I need to have a lot of creatures under my opponent's control. I need to flip a coin. And then I might get a creature that gains haste that then get exiled. Yeah, this is crap. <laughs> Moving on. Fireblade Artist. Haste. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice a creature. When you do, Fireblade Artist deals 2 damage to target opponent or planeswalker. So it's a 2 2 haste for 2, that's good. Sacrifice a creature, so it can be in self. So it's a free 2 damage. It's like a Vyashino Pyromancer, I guess. Just most in most cases better because you can sacrifice other things seems solid solid enough for me flying other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus plus zero plus one four mana okay that's crap moving on ethereal absolution four one white one black creatures you control get plus one plus one Creates your opponent control, get minus one, minus one. Two colorless, one white, one black. Exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. If it was a creature card, you create a one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying. That's a lot of mana to get a one, one white spirit token. I guess we have uh, kind of a similar thing on uh, Dawn of Hope. So, And I guess this is a control card, so... Uh, it's not that effect that we're playing this for. Uh, if I would play this, I would play this for the fact that your opponent's creatures get minus one, minus one permanently. So they die. Anything in the Golgari list that comes out doesn't even... Uh, yeah, does it trigger? Does it still trigger the comes into battlefield effect? Do you still g gain the lands from this? Uh... Probably they do, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is a way to lock down a game versus aggro. I'm thinking this might get played. Actually, it's a lot of mana, but you can lock down a game. If you have two of these, most <laughs> most aggressive decks probably won't have anything to do. <laughs> anything like it's almost a sweeper. Probably played in a the problem i see with this card is how do you utilize this plus one plus one that your creatures get uh, because you probably don't want to play this in a aggressive deck 
Or do you? <laughs> do you go after life? It seems too late at 6 mana. Probably it will see play because it's a, such a strong effect in some kind of control deck. Um, yeah, moving on. Arrestor's Admonition. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Addendum. If you cast a spell during your main phase, draw a card. Yeah, that's just a shittier <laughs> blink than we already have. Azorius Skyguard. Four colorless, one white, one blue, flying first strike, creatures your opponent control, get minus one. Yeah, this is very different from getting one minus one toughness. This can't kill anything. Uh, this is a shitty card. Moving on. Return target creature card with convert mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, so you're saving one mana there. Double your life total. Target opponent loses half their life rounded up. Revenge is strong, but six mana is a lot. This could be played in Turbo Fog, I guess, but why would you play the other side? These sides don't, <laughs> don't match. Uh, I'm seeing this played in one kind of deck and this <laughs> played in a completely other type, like a Turbo Fog, which gains a lot of life, kind of thing, deck. And this is like, I don't know, Golgari. I don't know, what, what do you bring back? Like, there's nothing that's really that good. And you're only gaining one mana by doing this. One mana back. You might as well play another three cost creature if you want this effect. No, not seeing it. I can see someone some combo deck playing this part <laughs> maybe maybe you want to i don't know use primal amulet double this effect so you double your life and uh, i guess half your opponent life twice and then just kill him with a lightning bolt or something windstorm drake other creatures you control with flying get yeah this is just a creature shitty creatures moving on angel of grace three colorless two white flash flash is good Flying is good. When Angel of Grace enters the battlefield until end of turn, damage that would reduce your life total less than one reduces to one. Ah, until end of turn. That's not that good. I thought this was a, like a flash platinum angel. And I'm like, oh, you become invulnerable, in unkillable for five mana. That's insanely good. Uh, let's check out the last ability. Four colorless, two white. Exile Angel of Grace from your graveyard. Your life total becomes ten. From your graveyard? Okay. So you have to get this to your graveyard. Okay, so I guess the thought is that someone shocks you and the last second you play this to save yourself and then uh, during your turn you turn this around by setting your life to ten. I think this setting your life to ten is kind of strong in the grave from the graveyard. I'm thinking, why don't, why not discard this and never play this for the for the first effect there? Seems stronger from the graveyard, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, might be played in a control deck, like, but it's probably mostly going to be played from the graveyard. I think. Uh, Turbo Fog, maybe. <laughs> Each player discards all the cards in their hand, then creates that many 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens. Okay, so discarding all the cards in someone hand, someone's hand is really good, but for 5 mana, they probably won't have any cards. <laughs> and you probably won't have any cards. And if they have a lot of cards, you're in trouble. <laughs> because they are attacking first. <laughs> Couldn't your tokens at least gain haste or something? There's a lot of good discard in standard right now. I don't think this... Sure, against control, but you would need some way to save a sweeper. You can set up some weird scenario with this, you can abuse it, but otherwise, no. No. Benthic Biomancer. 
Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Benthic Biomancer, draw a card, then discard a card. Then discard a card. So you Okay. So you're paying three mana for a two two with one loot. Can only adapt once, right? If this creature has no plus one counters on it, put a plus one counter on it. I don't know if you can stack multiple adapts, like if you can pay five times this or something, but it's still a weak effect. It's good for one blue. <sighs> but the adapt. It doesn't even get it out of shock range, no. I'm. no. I'm not seeing it. It's a merfolk and it's a wizard. Two useful types, but I'm not seeing it. Thrash Threat. A target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. So it's a fight. Fight with planeswalkers, I guess. And then there's Threat. Create a 4 4 red and green beast creature token with trample. It's an instant. Thrash is an instant, so that's good. It can deal with planeswalkers, that's good. But the only planeswalkers that's gonna, going to come down is the type of planeswalker that's going to nullify your creatures anyway. They're either going to kill your creature or they're going to put them third from the top. So Thrash is never going to happen to a planeswalker. Ever. Unless these shitty planeswalker, Dogen planeswalkers get popular, that we'll see soon. Yeah, I've read the some of the planeswalker spoilers. Senate Guildmage. One white, you gain two life. Hmm, that's decent. Draw a card and discard a card. Where have I seen that? Yeah, over here. And even cheaper. And any number of times. Still a shitty ability. <laughs> no. You have a life gain on a stick. But any deck that would want to play this would also play sweepers, so it would die. Nope. Put target attacking creature or blocking creature on top of its library. Okay. Warden. Create a 4 for white creature token. Swings with flying and vigilance. Why is this a rare card? Okay. So putting something on top is good, but restricting it to attacking or blocking is really really not that good i think we have better removal already create a four for white blue sphinx yeah it's a sorcery so it will never ever happen cult guild mage target player discards a card activate this ability only anytime you could cast a sorcery that's a decent ability but not for four one red cult guild mage is one damage target opponent or planeswalker now we're talking One red though, and costing two mana. Hmm. Best one of the guild mages, I would, <laughs> I would say. And uh, that's about it. Pteramander, flying, seven blue, adapt four. This ability costs one less to activate for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Five, five, flying for one. Yeah, this will be this adapt cost will cost one blue <laughs> in some decks. That's so it will be a five, five, flying for two. That's good, and it's a Drake. Yeah, this. The only problem with this is that it probably will get bolted before it gets the plus one, plus one counters on it. But except for that, it's amazing. In the Drake deck, why not? Why not instead of three pay one? You, I mean that deck wants to hold up as much mana as possible, and it's easy getting you know the instants and sorcery cards enough. Um, I guess the only argument against this card is that you don't want to play this out uh, in that deck since you have sweepers which kills it. Uh, uh, unless it has adapted. 
But you can play this out at any point. You don't need to. And that deck can buy time. So yeah, I think this will be played. I think this will actually be really good. That's, that's all I can say. Immolation Shaman. Uh, whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact creature or land that isn't a mana ability, Immolation Shaman is one damage to that player. Artifact creature. Okay, artifacts. There's not that many artifacts. Creatures. Activate the ability. Not that many. Or land. Uh, there's like one or two lands, which this. Yeah, this is just a sideboard card, I guess. You can buff it again, menace. Yeah, this is just sideboard tech, I think. Uh, bedeck. Target player. Target creature gets plus three, minus three, so it's a removal. Uh, or bedazzle. Destroy target non basic land. Bedazzle deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Yeah, if you're doing land destruction, <laughs> I don't get why this is rare, but. Okay, Archway Angel. Flying. Whenever Archway Angel enters the battle, you gain two life for each gate. Okay, so we need life gaining gates, but paying six is a no go. No. No, 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 no. You can gain a shit ton of life with this, but it's way too late. Way too late. <laughs> if we had six mana and we were probably at seven mana because we already put down a gate. Remember, they come into play tapped, so this is actually seven mana. Yeah, we're, we're dead long before this hits the deck. If we survived to this point, we've already won anyway, so. Yep. No, 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 no. 